What? Charles sent us a Christmas card. My best friend. One of my best friends from, for over 25 years. You never really get to see this view of the house. You guys want to see the house? That we're very, very grateful to have. It's Madison. Um, she was a heroin addict that found me online, and now she's sober. How long? Um, 22 months. Yeah, she hangs out. I think she's doing the best. You're doing really good. Um, we don't go that far, but I'm, I'm hanging around. I was going to say the best out of all the graduates. I know you Because I were. think you were the smartest. I think you, she stayed at Graceland, and she lives there, and she's like a, a manager. Um, and she, she, she hasn't... She's got a rent, 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 free. Yeah. But check this out. Akira Kurosawa ran. Do you know about that director? So the Shiva strike at the same time? So, so, so we just got back from Namath. Use your fingers for holy butter. Um, how was the trip, Veronica? It was excellent. Yeah? Yes. We had a mix of new friends and old. Do you get jealous? You don't, we don't get jealous. We did a post about, um, why don't you get jealous? Because no one, oh. no one could, like, have what we have. Mm -hmm. And, like, sex and love are different. Mm. Yeah. And I love you so much. If you love someone else or someone else was better for you, then I'd want you to be happy. Yeah, it's hard to, like, explain, but, um, I don't know. I think that that's a good perspective to have, and maybe it could help somebody. But I do want to talk about something. Um, I recently posted, like, this video of where this guy at Mammoth, whatever, I had, like, a little quarrel, quarrel with, um, one of the people that works at Mammoth, whatever, dude, we're fine, we're cool. It, wasn't, it really wasn't a big deal at all. He kind of came at me hot and I just like got triggered and I was just like, fucking authority, fuck you. But whatever, the point is, is that a bunch of people are like hitting me up. That's fucked up, bro. Like, that's a bad look. Like, you're, you embarrassed yourself and it's like, okay, cool, whatever. But it, it reads almost as if these people are like now done with me. You know, and they like want everyone else to be done with me too. The way that like we're done with Trump or we're done with fucking Kanye or we're done with whoever the fuck we canceled. Chris Lee even got fucking canceled. And Aaron, just so many, I don't even want to, if, if you even like say their names, you're like guilty by association and like everyone's so scared. It's crazy. Like my, my partner, Steve, his, uh, they, 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 they run this account, this, this shoe account. And um, they have like a large YouTube following and, and the kid, he's like a younger kid. Um, he's like scared of getting canceled. Like, and he does like shoe reviews. He's like, no, 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 I can't talk about like whatever Kobe or everybody out here is just super scared. And I think that it's because we're so used to seeing bullshit, fake, perfect versions of everyone's life like on social media and like in whatever that we're like when they fuck up it's unforgivable because we're just not used to seeing it they never show like the bad side so that's why i personally think it's cool that we're seeing like how flawed Kanye really is. Just watch. Like I personally believe that he'll bounce back from this because in the long run, I think human beings are forgiving. And if you saw, if you don't like me and you don't like Kanye, whatever, like if you saw me on the street, which I, people see me all the time, like they're like, what up dude? Thanks for what you do. Because like that's at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do is help people. So it's like, why would you try to cancel me over like a run in with like some authority figure at the parking lot in Mammoth? Is it really that big of a deal? You make it such, the, the people make it such a big deal. But there's also on the flip side, it, it's a small amount of people. That's another thing I kind of wanted to talk about was like how insignificant comments really are. Um, let me see here, I'm trying to do this. 
this with like, you know, no tripod. Uh, did you close the garage? Yeah. Something's beeping. Yeah, I know it's in your salon. Something's beeping in your salon. Comments don't mean anything. They're, you know, 1% of like the amount of people that see the video comment, maybe two or 3%. And out of those two or 3%, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 are like talking shit. But if you're the type of person to comment some negative shit to begin with, I, I just wish you would just like unfollow me because I don't even need that energy in my life. But it's going to happen. It's, it's, it's going to happen. One of those people actually called the cops on me and... I filmed it and that particular video got like 30 million views on both platforms. So like, thanks. That's the other crazy thing is that like these people are like helping build my brand because I think it's kind of exciting when you get to feel something, even if it's that you don't like me, at least you're feeling something and at least it's real. So for everyone who, who, who does support or whatever, or just likes to watch the videos and says what up to me on the street and like maybe um, was inspired to get sober or try to help someone in their life or I don't know, maybe a, a anyone who's been to Graceland or knows someone who should come to Graceland or whatever, like thank you guys, I love you and um, just uh, try to stay in the moment and just remember like it's really never that serious.